The St. Tammany Sheriff's Office says it took months to pin down the details of the elaborate drug smuggling scheme those trustees were allegedly involved in. North Shore Bureau Chief Ashley Roderick is live at the jail in Covington tonight with the latest. Ashley, good evening. Hi there, Ton. At the end of what was dubbed Operation Not So Trusty, 11 people were arrested. That includes inmates accused of selling and buying on the inside and their significant others alleged to have served as suppliers on the outside. When you look at a dumpster, you probably think it's just for taking out the trash. But St. Tammany Sheriff Randy Smith says months of undercover investigating revealed waste bins around the jail property were seen by some offenders as a way to bring in drugs. And that was just one way. The amount of contraband we were shocked that was coming into the jail and how it was being how it was being done. Smith says the probe began when his staff started noticing a sharp increase in drugs found behind bars shortly after shutting down the controversial work release program. The program faced scrutiny in an investigative series by Eyewitness News and the New Orleans Advocate, which revealed, among other things, a deadly haven for drug use. But tapping into tips from a tour of the new Orleans Parish Prison Facility to spot signs of contraband activity, Smith says investigators discovered six trustees were working in collaboration with two of their spouses, as well as an inmate behind bars for his role in a large drug dealing operation and his spouse to have drugs dropped at their various work sites to be picked up and brought back into the jail. Those included the jail kitchen, maintenance barn, and the parish litter abatement program. The fallout totaled 11 arrests. We're fortunate that we put a stop to it for now. We'll monitor the situation and try to keep these drugs away from our corrections facility. Watchdog group concerned citizens of St. Tammany applauds the takedown, even though they say they've been reporting similar activity since 2013. Now, they want to see this attention to it continued. Anytime you have a thousand people who are criminals living in a small area, there's going to be problems. And so you have to continually stay out in front of them. And this will be a big step in that direction. Now, the sheriff says the trustee program has been temporarily shut down for review. Deputies that oversee that program are getting extra training right now. And by the way, no employees were found to have been involved in this scheme. Lastly, some of those arrested in this scheme have been moved to other facilities. Live in Covington, Ashley Rodriguez, Eyewitness News.